We are located in Southeast Portland. Uh, the community that we exist in is poverty stricken and low income. We have a huge uh, homeless population. We were starting to just really ask the question as a church, what does it look like for us to love God and love our neighbor, to live out the greatest commandment? And the church sits on a unique piece of property in that we have 11 acres right next to a, a freeway and, and there's a bus stop right, on, right at the base of our property. And so we have just lots of, of transient traffic and just lots of people coming by. But with that 11 acres, a large part of it being wooded, we also have a lot of people and had a lot of people that were camping on our property. Um, that's one of the issues that Portland's facing is just a huge homeless population and what they're a growing homeless population and what are they going to do with them? And people are just camped quite quite a bit in quite a bit of places. And so they were camping on our property. And so for a while we were just asking people to leave and telling people they couldn't camp here. But then in that conversation of what's it mean for us to love God and love our neighbor, um, it just didn't sit well with us. If we're going to love our neighbor, our neighbors are people that are sleeping in tents on our property. How are we going to be able to love them the way God wants us to love them? And so we started to network and talk to other organizations that were reaching out in the community. But then in that networking process, we were trying to figure out how can we be more intentional and hands-on. Um, volunteering at the soup kitchen was great, but it's once a month. We've got people that are sleeping on the front steps of our church on Sunday mornings and we're having to ask them to move so we can get in the front door. And so in doing some research with that, we just decided, man, this is a great fit. People are camped on our property already anyway. Why not add some structure and some stability to that? And so we started to explore that idea. Agape Village is a 15 unit transitional housing space for folks that are experiencing houselessness so they can find some structure and stability and healthy relationships so they can move on to the life that God wants them to live. Our two gentlemen that are living on the property right now, um, God's just been doing a work in them with, with, you know, dealing with anger issues and addiction issues and just helping them to kind of learn how to, to live in a different way. We've seen God work already in people's lives. Um, a lot of praying, <laughs> big time, big, uh, a better relationship with God and Jesus. Uh, I asked him to take away. Um, I just seen there were things in my life that I needed to quit. You know, I just needed to quit drinking, quit using methamphetamines. Uh, because during those times when I was using, I'm not that, I'm not the guy I want to be. You know, I was like, man, I'm not, I'm not being productive. I'm not being a child of God. I'm not being an example of God. And I was like, I prayed and I said, hey man, take these things away that are keeping me from being the man that you want me to be. And he did. I'm not as violent um, because I'm probably not drinking, you know. Um, I'm way more kind, and I prayed for that. Show me kindness. He's showing me something different, and I'm okay with that. It's been a really positive experience, um, and I think the church has responded well, and, and God's been transforming the church itself as we engage the community.